<laughs> it's game over. Before... Before you kill me... Prayers? <laughs> you should have done that before! <sighs> Just a raven... too... bad. Hey, there's something better than a raven. She's got nice skin. You want to say your prayers? Witches don't need prayers. I'm in charge of these troops. I'm Maxwell Cougar. We don't see many soldiers dressed like you up here. Anyway, look, I know you're the one with the demonic. It's nice to meet you. Not very friendly, are you? Well, this place is a real disaster area. We're evacuating citizens to the airport. However, with all these monsters, I'm not sure we can make it. Well, I've got some business to take care of, so if you'll excuse me. <laughs> you finally open your mouth and that's all you have to say? You're a tough lady, but I can't let you kill yourself. I'm assigning some guards to watch you. Jones! Nash! So, what's your name, anyway? Alicia. It's here. I've seen a lot of things on the battlefield. But I'll never get used to seeing a buddy die! Alicia, you know it too. The demons are increasing every day. Unless we stop them, humanity will be wiped out. If you want to get rid of those bastards, then read this. I just got the most disturbing prank call. They said that the airplane my beloved was on had gone down. The news is showing all the grisly details right now. 
but it's like they're talking about some distant foreign country. Oh God. There's no answer to my prayers. I never feel a moment of rest or comfort. Only a wrenching sadness and a despair that grows and grows. Finally, I found the reference I'd been looking for. The invisible God wouldn't bend the laws that govern life, but the devil. Beyond that cursed village, deep in the forest, is a singularity. It has the power to return life with the power of darkness. Time is nothing more than torture for me. Even if I could live on for many years, what would be the point? Tomorrow I set out on my journey to bring my beloved back to life. So what's this? It's a journal found by our intelligence people. It belonged to an archaeologist that disappeared five years ago. HQ sent out a lot of well-armed people to try to find him. But none of them ever returned. So then, it must be the forest he mentioned. Yeah. You deserve to know. The demons are all coming from there. All of us. All the remaining forces from each city. We're about to start a large-scale op in that forest. Alicia. When I saw you fight, I knew it. That power of yours. We need it right now. We need the power you've got. Please, help us out on this operation. This fool is nothing but an encumbrance. But the forest he speaks of is the place you are searching for. Tell me the plan. The plane's about to take off, so I better go. Okay, sweetheart. Have a great time, and be careful. I'll buy you something nice. I love you, Papa. I love you too, Alicia. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have stood a chance. I just want to say, Thanks. You're welcome. But when this operation is over, take me back to the city. That demon. Damn it. I can't just leave it like that. Speaking of demons, Alicia, you look like a normal human being, but that power of yours isn't human. I don't know. It's more like... More like... a witch. Yeah. And that giant gun is like your broom, huh? I thought that witches were friends with demons. So then why are you fighting against them anyway? Oh, oh! Who's that? What's going on? What the hell is that thing? I didn't expect a flying demon at this altitude. Alicia, it would be difficult to attack from inside here. Then I'll just have to...
do. Go out and meet it! Alicia, that was a hell of a job you did. And now, I've got some good news. We'll be landing at HQ soon. Thank you. I've got some bad news too. An engine took a hit. We'll make an emergency landing. Brace for impact. Alicia. Just one thing. No more shooting at 10,000 feet. Nice going. I didn't think we were going to make it. We're close enough to walk to HQ from here. We've made it this far, so we can relax a little. I'll look after the old and injured. Please come back for us. People, we've got a job to do. All of us. We're gonna go clean up the rat's nest where all those demons are coming from. In the deepest part of the forest, there's a point that all these demons come through. Destroy that point and stop the demons from entering our world. That's your mission today. As for what kind of demons, or how many we might be fighting, we have no real idea. Even so, all we can do as soldiers is move forward. You are all fighting for the future of the human race! To save humanity, we will not run! Yes, sir! To save humanity, we will fight to our death! Yes, yes sir. sir! To save humanity, we will put our lives on the line! Yes, yes sir! Do you hear me? Sir, yes, yes sir! Ah! And let's roll! We got a job to do!
What's this? It says to make a sacrifice of the body and the spirit. With that as an intermediary, some kind of place will be formed. Those demons are entering the world through there. So, the reverse must also be true. The thing that's serving as the intermediary. If we destroy its body, they won't be able to come through anymore. I believe that's true. There's only one month left before my daughter's trip. She said she wanted to travel when she turned 13. She said she wanted to see the Mediterranean Sea, where her mother was born. It was just last year that she started talking about it. We had a little party here today. My daughter threw me a surprise birthday party. She's been toiling away all day in the kitchen getting ready. Totally forgotten what day it was. What a sweet girl she is. When I came home, she greeted me in an outfit I'd never seen before. Apparently, she'd been clothes shopping with a friend today. I would have preferred something less showy. I worry about her attracting unwanted attention. Every day she looks more and more like her mother. God rest her soul. Tomorrow is finally the day I've been dreading. Last night she suddenly started crying, saying she'd miss me terribly. But now she's happily getting ready as if nothing happened. Sweet, lovely girl she is. My beloved daughter. More precious to me than life itself. This man who allowed the demons into this world. Who turned the earth into the living hell that it's become. Who did it all for one single purpose. To bring his own daughter back to life. But did he know that his daughter would have to live with the knowledge of all the suffering that her life had brought? Why? Why? Please tell me. Why couldn't you just let me die in peace? Why? The daughter you knew. 
She's dead. What you see here isn't your beloved daughter. You see someone who fights to make up for the endless crimes laid at her feet. A witch. Don't forget. I will always love you. Papa. Hey, you're okay. A little engine trouble, huh? This whole city, it's really fallen apart during the time we were away. It's the bottom of the ninth inning. Injuries are piling up and the team is falling apart. And on top of that, our own fans have left the ballpark and have gone home. What's wrong? All of a sudden, you look so serious. Can we still turn this game around? The answer all depends on you. It's nothing. I'm fine. Listen, Alicia. I'm not sure exactly why, but after fighting by your side, I feel like I can really rely on you. I want you to know you can count on me, too. <laughs> well, if you don't want to talk, it's fine. Now, about what we do next. With the firepower we've got, we can't even fight the weaker demons. We need help, and I've still got some friends left here. We've got to go and rescue them as soon as possible. Alicia, we're the only ones left that can do it. Okay, I'll do my best. <sighs> so we meet again. Having fun without me, Alicia?
Man, I hope that thing really is finished for good. You and me did pretty well, huh? But... a lot of people have died. And the city is nothing but a pile of rubble. It's pretty hard to think of it as a victory. Most of the rest of the world is still living lives of pure misery. This planet, it's facing a dark, dangerous time now. But you, Alicia, you're like a bright light shining in that darkness. With you around, we may just be able to drive out those demons and bring back peace to this crazy world of ours. You gave us back our sense of hope for the future. And for that, I really have to thank you. And another thing, I want you to always remember that you've got a friend right here in me. Well, it's time to move on to the next battlefield. We have to clean up the demons that are still wandering around. If you know where you're going, we can drop you on our way. Alicia, do not ride on that flying machine. You know, flying just doesn't agree with me. I think I'll pass. I hear you. Well then, I guess this is the part where we say goodbye. Stay well now. I don't think of you as a witch anymore. No, I think of you as a beautiful woman, and I'll never forget you. Ah, uh, is that a smile I see on your face? You're wrong. I never smile. Sorry, I saw you smile just now. It makes you look a lot cuter, you know. Are you trying to hit on me? Once a witch, always a witch.